Hello, church family. I pray that you are finding some pockets of sunshine this week. I know it's it's been a little far and few between, but there have been some there has been some days that the sun has come out, and I pray that you've been able to take advantage of those. I've been thinking a lot as I've been getting out in that sunshine and I've been walking around in it about, I've been noticing the difference that I feel when the sun is out. More energy, um, a brighter attitude. I tend to have more of a positive attitude, um, a better outlook. And when it tends to be rainy day after day after day, that same thing can kind of happen to my spirits. But one thing that um, always comes through for me and um, that helps me, even when it's raining outside, is worship. And I wanna encourage you, I wanna encourage every single one of you that if you're not creating worship in your life every day, not just on Saturday when we come to church, not just on Sabbath, but when you are having um, a down day, when you are having um, those days of no sunshine, whether it's literal sunshine or sunshine in your heart, that you would create space for worship every day. Every day is the best is the best day to have worship. And I pray that you've been experiencing that, or if you haven't been experiencing that, that you would start that. And you can start that as simple as spending time in prayer, um, prayer walking, find a friend, go prayer, go prayer walk in the sunshine, even prayer walk in the rain. I've had the privilege of prayer walking in the sunshine, just was able to do that this week. Um, and I've also had the privilege of, of prayer walking in the rain. And it's just as beneficial and it's just as heartwarming and it's just as powerful in the rain. And it does the same job in changing my mood too. So I wanna encourage that. Also Bible study, get involved in a Bible study. You know, personal Bible study is very important. And I always wanna encourage that, to get into the word every day. Um, but if you struggle um, with getting in the word yourself, then I want to encourage you, get involved in a Bible study. And whether that's on Sabbath morning and then you study throughout the week on your own, whether that's on our women's online Bible study that's actually happening um, uh, Thursday, uh, May 12. So, or whether it's um, a um, small group Bible study that we do in person, we're going to be having some of those launch here soon. So get involved in a Bible study group and you will be amazed of how it sparks your heart and your life to want to even go deeper into the word. So not only does it help you and it comforts you and it brings you assurance, but it also, it um, ignites your heart and hunger for more. And if you, um, and even if you are studying the Bible on your own, get involved in a Bible study with a small group because that can, you can grow even exponentially more. So I wanna really encourage you to um, take the opportunity to grow in the word, to spend time in prayer. And if you struggle with those things, then talk with someone who you know doesn't. Or when I should, when I say that, we all struggle with those things at times. Uh, we've all had to make to to see what works for us. But someone that you know that is um, setting a time worship, they are benefiting from worship. They are benefiting from that time in the Word and prayer. Ask them what they do. Or baby steps. We do forty days of prayer. We started them last Tuesday on May. Um, yesterday was May uh, ten. So we started them then. Uh, Tuesday, this last Tuesday night. Scripture, a thought on it, and prayer. Baby steps. But try to do something where you're exposing yourself to the word or to time with God, praising him, singing to him, whatever it may be. And I promise you that that's going to carry you. It's going to give you energy 
and it's going to give you strength and it's going to give you encouragement and it's going to carry you even through these weeks and weeks and weeks of literal rain. And it will carry you through sometimes the months of um, emotional rain where we're really struggling with our thoughts and our hearts. So I pray that you will take that step forward into finding your pockets of worship. Maybe it's an intense time in the morning that you've set aside. Maybe it's different pockets throughout the day. It doesn't matter where you start. It just matters that you start. So I'll be praying for you as you pray for me that we will be finding that internal sunshine in Jesus Christ, right? And that we will be finding that he truly is all that we need. Even when we literally do not have the sunshine shining through our windows, even when we um, can't see past the gray clouds, he will walk with us and he will be with us. So blessings to all of you. And I pray that you find encouragement in this and that you will be intentional about your time with him this week.